What's up, my ninjas? Uh, you'll probably notice, like, what, what happened here? You were somewhere else, and now you're here. And there's a skyline in front of me. It's because in between these two videos, we, uh, we went from Hawaii to Texas. So here I am to finish the Bruce Lee body breakdown. First things first, I got this pretty snazzy mic here that I'm going to be talking to you today. Don't, don't worry about the mic, just listen to what I'm talking about. So why do we pick Bruce Lee to do a body breakdown? Well, he's the epitome of a Zen dude, all right? And if there was a girl version of Bruce Lee, that would be the epitome of a Zen dudette. He's lean, he's powerful, and he's also got the mindset to match. You see, what he's done is created an incredible physique by using the power of his body and mind. We're gonna get into that today. Body-wise, we're really gonna focus on how do you create the leanness? So how do you create that six-pack you've seen from him? Also, how do you create that hard, chiseled look he had through his chest, his arms, and throughout his whole body? Our goal today with breaking down Bruce Lee's body is to teach you how to create a lean and powerful looking physique, but without the bulkiness, right? We're not looking for a big, puffy body. We're looking for a lean, hard, ninja physique. First things first, let's talk about the Bruce Lee diet. This man was very Buddhist in his philosophy, right? He always talked about how you should consume just the right amount of food for you, just like we talk about here at Zen Dude Fitness. When he talked about this, it was a little bit vague, right? He was like, don't eat too much, don't eat too little. Eat the right amount for your body, which makes perfect sense. But we're gonna go a little farther here by providing you with a calorie and macronutrient calculator that's gonna take you through a tutorial teaching you exactly how much to eat. So we're gonna get into that right now. All right, my future ninjas. Let's talk about how to calculate the right amount of food for your body. So you're going to go to the uh, link in the description below it's linked up and it has our calculator. So it says calculator, just click that link and it'll open this fruit calculator here in your browser. And once you arrive here, we can get started. So I'm gonna assume you're here now and you see the calculator. And really what this is gonna do is tell you how much food you should be eating for your body every single day. It's not an exact science when you get started, but it is a great place to start. So you're gonna do what I'm doing here. So enter your age, so I'm 26, I'm male. Of course, enter these numbers for yourself. I'm 190 pounds, I'm 74 inches tall. Um, I am highly active. If you're sedentary, that means you're not really working out at all. Light activity means one to three times a week. Moderate activity means uh, more like three to five. High activity, six to seven. So I'm six to seven. And uh, I'm going to tell you that you're probably gonna wanna click lose weight unless you're already really, really super lean and you can't afford to lose any weight. Most of us wanna get leaner if we wanna look like Bruce Lee. So I'm gonna click lose, calculate macros, and then if you're a man, you're gonna click on high down here, and then you're gonna calculate again. If you're a woman, you're gonna click medium and leave it there, okay? But if you're a man, you want high protein. And so you'll see the protein changes on here. And so you're gonna take these numbers, so here are your calorie numbers, here are your numbers for carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and these are the numbers you're gonna to try to eat every day. And so the way you're gonna to try to hit these numbers is by going to a site like myfitnesspal.com, uh, they also have a mobile app and you're going to put in everything you eat every day and your goal is to play this game where your numbers add up to match the numbers the calculator gave you. And if that's it, I know people want to make it more simple, don't worry about having to eat the perfect foods and all that other stuff that comes with uh, you know, trying to focus on your diet. Really just focus on hitting these numbers by adding them up in my fitness pile every day as you eat and you're going to be good to go, you're going to get leaner and leaner until you look like Bruce Lee. And if you need to gain a little muscle, you can always recalculate by clicking gain and doing that as long as it takes to put on that muscle. And then you can lean up again by recalculating your numbers by hitting lose. That's it. Let's get back to the rest of the tutorial. Now, the reason you're going to be eating the amount of food that you just calculated is because it's going to help you create the physique that he had. Now, if you're eating in a slight calorie deficit, like we just suggested, you're going to continually getting leaner and leaner and leaner until you start to look like our boy Bruce. Not only are you going to get the physique, but you're also going to notice that it's going to be easier to get into flow. You're just going to feel better as well when you're eating the right amount of food for your body. I went pretty in depth with Bruce Lee and the research around his regimen. So what I found out was this guy didn't really like dairy. He was like, yo, I'm not trying to eat baby cow milk. Once in a while, he did consume dairy. And at those times, it was in his protein shake. He was known for creating very nutrient dense protein shakes where we'd have the whey protein powder with vegetables and fruits all blended together to create a micro and macronutrient 
fiesta. At the end of the day, we're always gonna tell you guys the most important thing is the total amount of food that you're eating, and Bruce Lee did agree, but he had a meal frequency that I'm gonna mention to you now. So what he did was eat three to four meals a day, and he focused on getting a good distribution of carbohydrates, fats, and protein. That's why he was all about getting those protein shakes in, eating a lot of vegetables, fruits, and other healthy fats like nuts. You don't have to eat three to four times a day. You could eat one to two times a day. It's not really that important, but I did want to mention what he did specifically. Final thing about Bruce Lee's diet regimen, this guy believed in everything in moderation, including moderation. So he was known to eat a little Mac D's, a little McDonald's, a little McDizzle from time to time, just because he knew it wasn't sustainable to only eat quote unquote healthy foods all the time, right? He knew that he had to give himself the latitude to eat foods that he really enjoyed. And for that man, once in a while, that was McDonald's for you. I don't know, maybe burger and fries, you pick. Let's go through the Bruce Lee workout program. This guy was moving constantly. Obviously he did his ninja training, but on top of that, he was also doing weight training two to three times a week where he would do squats, bench press, deadlifts, and of course those curls for the girls. He also did a lot of high intensity interval training, similar to what we do here at Zendu Fitness. He would do wind sprints, but he'd also do jump rope training, which of course is what we do here at Zendu Fitness on the reg. So if you wanted to get this regimen going yourself, what you'd be doing is lifting similar to him, which is two to three times a week with the core main lifts like bench press, squats, maybe some curls or deadlifts, your pick. And then on top of that, you're doing high intensity interval training, which can be sprints, or you can pick a jump rope up like we always do and do three to four of those workouts a week. On top of that, Bruce Lee was always moving. He was so active. If he didn't have a gym available to him, he'd find the closest hill and start sprinting up it. That's what we want you to understand about Bruce Lee's regimen, is that he was constantly moving, he was incredibly active, and when he didn't have the gym available to him, he still found a way to get a workout in. Bruce Lee believed you should train how you fight all out effort like your life is on the line. And we believe the same. When you're doing your high intensity training, you should be going all out effort. Give it everything you have, and you're gonna be able to create that same chiseled look. Bruce Lee also was all about training his core. He recommended doing it at least three times a week, and he'd do things like side bends for five sets, sit-ups for five sets, and leg raises for five sets. And you can do reps around 25 to 50, depending on your skill level. Finally, Bruce Lee was all about training his mind. He believed that the mind created the body. So he also did visualizations where he imagined creating the physique and the performance that he wanted. Most of all, Bruce Lee maintained his physique by being consistent. He always got his workouts in. He was always conscious of the way he ate and he maintained his consistency no matter where he was in the world. 